They're here. Oh my word, that is massive. Let me move that out your way, shall I? Yes. It's that time again. It's that time again. Done a little bit more spending. Uh, this time it's, it's practically, practically a full length train and loco um, with all identical livery. Um, this company was formed, I think in 1994. Um, and I think eventually, unfortunately, they had to go into receivership in 2010 and I think in 2007 possibly um, I think they become the livery that they are and that's the livery that I got they had I think three class 56s in the in this livery um, and they brought I think four class 66s 66 301 up to 66 305 I've got 66301 because that's the number that they've done. And if you still don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about the fast line livery. So I have got, I have got the Acura scale wagons, the HYAs. Um, is it a HYA? Yes, it is a HYA. So I have one, it's GBRF. The rest are, I think I have got one, a cut down wagon actually, which is a C-Max. Um, and the rest are either fast line livery or the Taurox. Is that how you pronounce it? I'll put it, I'll put it on the screen. So, uh, so let's let opening. Pick, pick your weapon. Pick your weapon. And remember, safety first. Safety first. Very thick. I need a sharper knife. There we go. Uh -huh. Here we go. Here we go. So in total, I have 20, that's right, 20 HYA wagons. Now let's get unpacking. Here we go. Right, I'll unpack one and I won't bore you with the rest. In fact, I'm just going to undo it. Back in a sec. Here they are in all their glory. These two, these two at the back. The GBRF and the NACO, the cut down NACOs, if that's how you pronounce it. I brought from, I brought from, there we go, Great Eastern Model Railways. It was a stall at the, uh, I think, Combaton Village College train exhibition that my brother and I were exhibiting at. Oh, but there's a fly up there. Hold on. Anyway, um, I brought them two, them two, them two there, from there. And I brought all the others, all the others from Kerno Models. Kerno Models, they were doing... They were doing a, I don't think it was them that were doing a deal. I think it was a Cura scale doing a deal. They were down from, from well, they were 75 pounds each. These usually retail at 75 each. And they were all down to, I think, 60 pounds. So I just thought, you know what? I'll, I'll stump up the money and I'll buy them in bulk. Not that I got any extra off, but I thought, well, saving 15 pounds on each item, I thought was a big enough save for me. Obviously, for the people who do know or you don't know, some of them do come with a tail lamp. Don't worry about the back door. The back door is in there just to, uh, there we go. Takes two batteries, two little batteries. I couldn't even tell you the number of them to make the uh, tail lamp flashing. And then uh, see where that cylindrical is in, in there. Or you have a special device 
like a little magnet and it turns it on you just rub or you just uh, go very close to the side here and that turns the lamp on once when you've got the batteries in so don't worry about the door the door is what I've left out and I think I can't remember what numbers what numbers because they do I think three packs I think they do three packs and I can't remember what pack comes with the tail lamp but I'm sure I ordered another one with a tail lamp because I didn't realize oh there you go there you go that's another one that's another one with a tail lamp so I didn't realize that at the time so so never mind right obviously you've seen the wagons and now it's time time to see the loco but before I open this again I'd just like to say thank you to everybody who's watched the videos who's liked who's subscribed who's left comments and I'm sure I'll get back to you very soon secondly wouldn't be the same without a nice cup of tea oh, really good remember safety Now, to let you know about the packaging, if you're wondering why it's in this type of packaging and not a little bit neater, this is because this loco is second hand. Now, it's very rare that I buy a very sec uh, very rare that I buy a second hand loco, and that's just purely down to the fact that you don't know who's been tampering around with it and things like that. And the thing is, locos become so advanced now. Um, I just don't like running that risk. Um, but this is a special edition from Backman, from Backman, um, and here we go. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Fast Line Class 66, number 66301, limited to. Uh, I don't know how many numbers actually. Let's have a little. Let's have a little look. To 1,000, to 1,000 locos. The reason why I brought this loco is because I've ordered two, two locos from a Curascale and I wasn't 100% sure that they're going to produce these colours. Um, I know Calavex, if that's how you pronounce them, have um, obviously created a Class 56 in like multiple colours and things like that. But as far as I'm aware, they're not doing, they're not doing a fast line and I'm not too sure why. So if we can have a moan at them for not doing that, I'm hoping, I'm hoping eventually they will, because um, uh, obviously I, I have the wagons. So obviously you don't want to see it like this. You want to see it on a layout and running. So uh, here we go. There we go. It's out of the box. And unfortunately, this doesn't have a chip in it. It is 21, 21 pin uh, DCC. It's, uh, it's obviously DCC ready. Like I say, it doesn't have a chip in it, nor does it obviously have sound. So, uh, yes, so here goes. It's uh, obviously conventional coupling there. Got a little uh, chain and hook there. And uh, here we go. I'll send him round. Unfortunately, uh, I don't have any batteries for it, so my apologies.
that's 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 four wagons. Sixteen to go. It's getting bigger. Looking like a freight train now. There we go, it's on the track along with along with 20 HYAs and one cut, well, two cut downs. There we go, this is unloaded. I did find that one of these has broken off. That is a coupling, coupling, sorry, that is a buffer. It's a buffer off, 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 off that one there. There we go, so off that one there. I did find that it was a couple of bits like that fell off. I don't think they're broken, obviously, because the Cura scale are better than that. So they've just come off in transit. So there's nothing that I can't glue back on. So um, I'm hoping, I'm hoping this is going to run round absolutely fine. I've cleaned the track this time. I've cleaned the track, um, but I'm running on DC. So it's not going to be as, uh, what's the word, as smooth. Um, and I'm hoping that none of these are going to come off. So. Let's see it. Slight, maybe not slight, some major issues. Um, one, it's derailed in the tunnel, and that's only with um, about 10 wagons. And secondly, the 66 can't pull them. Um, so I need to uh, I need to excavate this. There's the culprit. I'm not too sure where it derailed, and uh, we have another one, another one in there. So that is only what three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, nine wagons. The rest, the rest are all here. There we go. That's there. I've had to. I took them off the line because I issue with the points up there so then uh, I was going to put them onto onto this track to create a little loop and uh, yes having issues nothing I can't sort out though Last one. It's got round, it's got round with two of them. 18 to go.
as your end, that is, that is, seven, seven, seven wagons, and it is struggling to pull it. Granted, again, it's a tight corner. The wagons do, I mean, they seem to run, run very smoothly. This is how smoothly they run. And this, this is the weight of them. There we go, if you can see that, 156 grams. Despite, despite not being able to run a full length train on this particular layout, the attention to detail is incredible. Just got, you got all the, all the sticker in, all the numbering, you got all the pinstriping as well. You obviously got obviously all the detail on the bottom, the door. That's that's probably the Achilles heel a little bit. That just knocking on that. So obviously that limits. See now I can't even get that back. There we go. That limits on the radius of the curves that you can be on. But it's a minor issue considering I want obviously a larger layout. You do get, I think it's three packs. I think there's three packs you can get. They are numbered differently, so this one is 3770679062-2. And if that means anything to you, then you're a better person than me. Um, you have all the sticker in, everything, it's all legible as well. And it's just, it really is, it's just a stunning, stunning model. Again, the packaging as per Acura scale standards. I didn't get it for that price, just to clarify. Is absolutely incredible beautifully strong boxes and the ones with the tail lamp come full with full instructions batteries requires two of them LR 41 batteries so obviously that's the tail lamp there and then you have the little magic wand a little uh, little stick that turns it on and off as well it's a little brief history of the wagon and obviously a breakdown of all the parts involved. You also have all the little pipe work, all the little pipe work that can be added as and when. And you also have, also have a hook and a chain as well. So if you want to go extra crazy with the old detail, not too sure if you can actually use them but it certainly adds uh, more realism. Well, I feel disappointed. Not in the products, just to clarify, the products are absolutely amazing. Honestly, they are really, really stunning. A little bit too much of a tight corner. Like these, I'm fully aware, I'm fully aware that these corners are too tight. And this one, this one along here is the tightest on the layout. But it is what it is, it needs must. You know, we've done it so we can uh, run trains around, not obviously trains of this length. Um, and yeah, so then that's only with five. That was five, you saw it earlier with 20. And uh, no, I didn't even have 20 on it because it struggled to pull it. So like I say, like I say, 66 is amazing, it really is. I think maybe with additional weight, um, I think you can get, I mean, as and when I come to build a layout, I think you can get magnets so you stick underneath the train you can put um, like pieces of metal underneath the track and it pulls the train down. Um, I have seen that and it does actually add, it doesn't add weight obviously, but obviously it pulls it down for better traction. And again, I think if this was a big wide open layout, um, it probably, and I think it probably could pull it to be honest with you. Obviously this is a very old loco. So, I mean the weight of some locos now is, is probably maybe 100, 150 grams heavier. So, so yeah, it's just it's just a bit of a shame really, I can't run it around here. I'll try my brother's lap, but that's a lot, lot smaller. Um, and uh, the tight, the corners are, not, they're not so much tight, but it's just a very small layout. And the thing is, the, the wagons in the tunnel, they did pull inwards. Um, so I don't want that, because it's quite high up. I don't want them pulling inwards and then finding out that the whole train comes off the track and falls to the floor. So. It's just one thing that I'm not really willing to risk at the moment. I mean, I might try the club layout, um, but yeah, so 
like I say, details, the most fragile part about the HYA wagons are, are, and I'll show you, I've accumulated a few more, are the buffers, are the buffers. So they, if I can find a wagon, they do, I don't know if they're glued on or what, um, but yeah, they, they push on, they push onto there and somehow or other they clip in, they clip in onto there. They are all spring sprung buffers or sprung loaded. Um, they are very close when they come around this corner. They are very close to one another, but for some reason it's this one. This is the fifth one back. Keeps derailing. So, um, other than that, the products are amazing. Even for the old, the old class sixty six from Backman. I love the colour in the beauty. It's beautiful. It really is. Um, I mean, I'd probably. Well, I would say I wouldn't mind twenty four these HYA wagons, but I think going on the base of that and the layout that I have, well, running them on this, I probably won't get any more. But I do believe, I generally believe it can pull them. It can pull them on a big open layout. This just unfortunately isn't that layout. So I'm really sorry about that. I feel I feel like it's a bit of an epic fail, um, but it is what it is. Um, if you've liked the video, please like, subscribe. Leave a comment if you wish. Um, thank you so much for watching and until next time, see you later.